right. There we go. 133. Colin Johnston. Huge momentum built. In the first two matches, heavyweight and 125 for the Mountaineers. Now you're going to set out Colin Johnston, one of the other guys you're going to see in Omaha. 133 pounds. pounds. This is Colin Kyle Johnston Fluke. for West Virginia. And for Edward, Kyle Fluke. So we got Fluke versus Colin Johnston. Johnston losing a, a barn burner overtime match to Novajkov of Cal Poly. One of his three losses. So Johnston, definitely a guy you're gonna see, you know, in, in that NCA mix. Touch the pass arms. Fluke looking maybe to go behind here. Trying to yank his arm out. Oh, nice little dump there by Johnston. He's almost wow, looking. What's Fluke doing with it? That was great. You have a little bit. Yeah, Johnston could have scored, take down a near fall. A yeah. Bit. But Fluke, Fluke cuts his hips a lot. Like that, how he just cut his hip. And uh, yesterday he did it a bunch against uh, Jimmy Conroy from Pitt. Nice. Heavy hands there. Hard snap. snapping photos. So now it's rushing two on one. Yep, have been each match. So, oh, they're looking to score an edge there, unable, they're off the mat. And we got uh, Kent State and Central Michigan coming up tomorrow for the MAC championship. So we caught the EWL, champ EWL championship last night between the Fighting Scots and the Pit Panthers. But tomorrow at 2 o'clock, the feed will start super early because Joe and I are just going to make it rain up in the MAC Center in the KENT. Catch some uh, pre-match stuff with the teams. A lot of pre-match. We're actually going to probably catch Coach Andres' uh, pre-match speech. Maybe even we'll see what Coach Borelli thinks. So Fluke hanging on the collar tie here right now. Colin Johnston, a Pennsylvania state champ. WVU, it's about an hour and 10 minutes south of Pittsburgh. If you haven't been to Morgantown, you need to get there. Oh, nice head outside. Johnston, this is how, look, look how he sits and cuts his hip. stalemate here. Johnson tries to split the medal, but he catches his arm right away. And throw it to his feet. Potentially. Scoreless <laughs> first period. No score at the end of one period. <laughs> Johnston chooses down to begin the second. So Colin Johnston choosing down. No score. Fluke pretty tough on top. Nice mat return by Fluke. This is where Fluke's good. Boots in. Johnston. Get extended out of there. Hard to build a base when your feet are above your hips. So right now, Fluke cranking hard. Johnston stuck down underneath. 30 seconds of ride time. Can you for Fluke? He's trying to head scoop here. Turnball calling for a stalemate. Running injury clock on Ray. Green 
injury time for Colin Johnston. Well, tomorrow, like uh, like we said, big match, huge match. Huge match. What are you seeing out of these two teams in the last two years? What's Andresi done with Kent and Borelli has done with Central Michigan? You know, Borelli, he and I had a national finalist last year in Mike Miller. Not even in the start, or not even in this the same weight this year because he yeah. got beat out. And pro basketball yeah, fans and, uh, can catch all the exciting action. You know, I, I, I can't get the full story on that from Wednesday, anyone. But uh, what I, what I understand is Mike Miller, which he's going to be, PM. his hometown is 15 minutes south of Kent. He actually will have a huge, there's going to be a huge crowd tomorrow. It's going to be crazy, but I, you know, I've never gotten the full story about him, the Ben Bennett thing, and um, Coach Borelli, you know, he thinks that's the right thing, and uh, he's got the freshman at 174 and the returning national finalist up a weight, so. He hurt his shoulder at the, Mike Miller hurt his shoulder at the National Duels against Minnesota. And we don't know when he hurt that. that's when he hurt it worst. And uh, we'll see if he's back in the lineup tomorrow to, to take on the kill or the killer. Should be a good duel and uh, I'm excited. We're back to action here. It's Luke Collin Johnston. Nice lift, Johnston comes up. Working hands, fluke, trying to mat return again. Johnston catches his leg. Got him, he's got fluke in some huge trouble. Sits on him, he lets fluke sneak his boot back in. Fluke riding cross body. Oh, crazy action off the mat. Johnston with a hurt shoulder. Luke Johnston in a scoreless measure, 111 ride time, 49 seconds left in the first period. Luke Johnston. Caution, Luke. Johnston up to his feet right away. He's got a real nice stand up. Luke, boot in, turns him to the mat, boot in right away. Feed's been a little bit choppy and weird, but you know, that's okay. We got wrestling on here. There's uh, 20 seconds left in the second period. There's a stall warning on. Stall warning, okay. The official first called the stall warning on Luke on the top, and now he just called Johnston. Johnston's gonna get rid of the period. Looks like it's gonna be two minutes of ride time for Fluke here, and he just rode him hard. No score at the end of two periods. By Fluke. He goes for a top choice right there. <laughs> Johnston's been up to his feet about five. Nice, mad return. Whoa. So if Fluke's able to take this match, it is going to be a huge momentum shift back into the favor of the Fighting Scots. 6 0 right now, in favor of the Mountaineers, but oh man, Fluke just sliding that boot in. Johnston, he's lost in a while, man. What do you think, Joe? What do you think of CWL action so far? Like it? I think you're lucky. Zeb, you are now an he's, EWL guru. He's riding boots hard here. Minute 14 left in the match. Johnston unable to get his head off the match. Riding time's locked up. It's 1-0 with the riding time. Johnston, all Johnston has to do is get out. And, and you know, I know that's easy to say that, but uh, looks like he might have tweaked his shoulder. If he's able to get one, uh, it's a tie match. Uh, 
correction by the official. A lot more corrections on cautions this year rather than just calling cautions. But uh, Johnson up again. Fluke strapping up the saddle, man. Feed going in and out on us here, but we're making it rain here in Macomb Fieldhouse. Johnson, Johnston unable to come up. There comes the boot in. 50 seconds left in the match. Fluke riding hard. Three minutes, 20 seconds right. Thirty-three seconds of starting. There's one point for Fluke. Now an escape won't matter. But he has to rig it a reversal to tie the match. And an upset in every match. Every every match. match yep. So now, 17 seconds left after the stall point. So now it's a. Uh, Fluke's choice, right? This is the second yep. injury time. Second injury timeout will be Fluke's choice. Fine, Fluke. He should have took his minute. second injury earlier. Yep. All right. I agree. Johnston seems to be shoulder problem. You choose top anyway. <laughs> Well, if I have three minutes and 43 seconds of ride time and seven, with 17 seconds left, if I have uh, strapped on a saddle that big time, uh, I'm choosing top two. Fluke looks like he's gonna ride the match. Johnston up to his feet. Plenty of times, unable to do anything with it. Fluke's gonna go out on top here. Edinburgh on the board. 6-3. Nothing decision, Kyle Luke.